Bag valve mass ventilation is then continued until the patient is fully paralyzed. The head is slightly elevated and the neck is extended to place the patient in a sniffing position. A curved Macintosh blade is then inserted into the right side of the mouth, sweeping the tongue to the left, and then the tip of the blade is placed in the Volecula just above the epiglottis. The blade is lifted to elevate the epiglottis and expose the subglottic laryngeal structures. You can see the vocal cords in the middle through which the endotracheal tube will be placed and the corniculate tubercles are seen below. The endotracheal tube is now placed via the right side of the mouth and should be advanced to a distance of about 21 centimeters at the teeth in women and 23 centimeters at the teeth in men. The endotracheal tube is now connected to the ventilator and proper tube placement is confirmed by seeing a mist in the tube, symmetric chest wall rise, and carbon dioxide output on an end tidal CO2 monitor. The tube is then secured in place with tape.